Hi, I'm Tan Franz from Netflix's Queer Eye, and today I'll be working with 23-year-old Madison from San Diego. Let's go. Hi, Madison. I'm Tan Franz. You can call me just Tan, but it's so much more fun to say Tan Franz. Tan Franz. Tan Franz. Tan Franz. Tan Franz. Come on in, Tan Franz. Oh. So, wow, I was not expecting Tan Franz to actually show up. I am so honored. I have to say, though, he's a lot um, tanner than I thought, but way less French. I understand you're an activist and you want to make sure you're dressed appropriately for when you go to marches and rallies. That's right. I love it. I absolutely love it. Shall we get started? So many people make these protests about themselves and I love that Madison wants to make sure the outfits she's choosing are appropriate, respectful and inclusive. I don't get it. I posted pics from like every protest last year and hardly got any likes. I suffered through those boring jam-packed events for nothing. My hope is that Tan can help me find some fab fits so that my protest posts can go viral. Well, Madison, what would you say is one cause you really care about? The environment is like so hot right now. I agree, global warming is out of control. I don't get why people are so mad about getting more summer, but caring about MILF Earth is straight up in right now. Now I got you something that you're going to absolutely love. It is a collection of sustainable clothing. <gasps> I love sustainable. I love it. I've heard of sustainable from my friends. It's the name of a popular streetwear brand, like Supreme. How do you feel about these? Mm, they're okay, but do you have anything like Greta Thunberg would wear? I love the idea. Simple, however powerful. I have a gorgeous collection of solid sweaters. Madison clearly idolizes Greta, so it was important for me to get this right. She was the girl on the cover of Time magazine, right? I figured if I dress like her, I could be on a magazine cover too. You would look absolutely radiant in this one. Mm, you don't think the tags would be a problem? Madison was so right about the tags. I mean, how could a company that prides itself on being sustainable use plastic tags? It had never even crossed my mind. You get way more engagement on Insta if you tag brands in posts, so I just wanted to make sure they had a big IG presence. Are there any other protests you'd want my help getting dressed for? I'd love some options for women's rights. Oh, of course. Well, you know, the Women's March pink pussy hat is a must, obviously. And I've got some great designer shirts with female icons like RBG. Oh, it's so chic. So cute. Oh, I was sexy RBG for Halloween and people loved it, so that should work. Oh, plus, I can always make it a crop top. Madison, I think you're all set. Uh, unless you want me to help you get ready for the summer BLM marches. Oh my god, I hope there are no BLM marches this summer. Oh my goodness, you're right. No, that is not at all what I intended to imply. As Madison pointed out, we should pray that there's no need to march again this summer and that we've overcome the injustices that made it so necessary to speak out last year. It just gets really hot in the summer and I get all sweaty and gross in photos, so I hope they postpone BLM to fall, like they did with Coachella. Well, Madison, unless there are any other looks, I what think- What about what Gandhi wore? Excuse me? Gandhi, wasn't he really big into protesting? Do you have any looks like his? You mean like the lungi that he would wear during his hunger strike? Sure. <laughs> It's like the one shoulder. I'll admit, I was a little taken aback when Madison brought up Gandhi, but then it all made sense. It's the whole time I've been thinking about design. But Madison is fine wearing something more simple as long as it symbolizes something. I don't know what brand Gandhi was rocking, but I need to find out. I want to show off my body like he did with his. Mm. I'm going to send something to you free of charge, but otherwise, Madison, I think you're set. Thank you, Tan oh, no, Madison, Thank you so much. Best of luck. Madison really helped me see things differently and realize what activism is all about. People try to say that a lot of folks protesting don't back it up with their actions, that a lot of them just do it for their brands or to post on their Tinder profiles. But Madison, she is the real deal. Oh man, I wish I had gotten a photo of Tan France before he left. I could have posted it and said it was from Pride Parade and gotten so many likes. I hope you're enjoying season two of A Little Late with Lily Singh. If you're not sick of this face yet, Go ahead and click subscribe right over there. Check out more clips just like this one right over there. More importantly, have a great day. Bye!